In this video, I'll show you how to make your images look soft and dreamy using Affinity Photo. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.1.1. There are probably thousands of ways to create a soft, dreamy effect. Every image is different, and what works for one may not work for another. But I'll be using a variety of techniques and effects, and you should be able to use some of them to realize whatever your idea of soft and dreamy is. Here's the image, a multiflora rose bush, a late spring bloomer, the perfect time of year for soft and dreamy. The first thing I'll do is duplicate the background image layer by pressing Command J or Control J in Windows. I'll be using blend modes and for that you need at least one layer beneath since blend modes control how underlying layers blend with the current layer. To create the soft effect I'll use the smudge brush tool which can be accessed here. This allows for fairly precise control, which means more work. It also means you can make more mistakes, but that's the price for greater control. Using a filter blur or live filter blur would be much easier, but they blur everything equally, so they're rather blunt. Of course, you can use masking and other techniques to increase precision, but they're still blunt tools. That said, I will be using a Gaussian blur later on. I'll increase the strength of the smudge brush to around 60%. If you have a device that's sensitive to finger pressure, you can click this button here. I have no such device, so I can't say much more about this feature, except that it sounds very handy. I'll adjust the size of the brush with the bracket keys. I'll just work on the petals. I'll smudge them in the direction they're growing, stretching them out. I want to soften all the sharp edges, but I don't want to smudge the entire flower. I'll leave the stamens and pistols alone. A larger brush will have a more pronounced effect. I'll zoom in and work on this area here. I'll reduce the size of the brush. Increasing the brush strength is helpful when using a smaller brush. You can see what I mean by being a lot more work. You get the idea here, so I'll go ahead and finish this and see you in a second. Okay, I'll try different blend modes to see if I can find something more conducive to the soft, dreamy look I'm after. I'll go with screen. That's rather bright, so I'll add a brightness and contrast adjustment to darken things up. I want to keep the flowers bright, so I'll apply a mask to the brightness and contrast adjustment. I want to use a masking brush for this, so I'll select the paintbrush tool and then click on the Brushes tab over here. I'll select Masking and choose a soft brush. They're the ones with a soft outline. I'll make sure Hardness is zero and reduce the flow of the brush to about 30%. I'll set the brush color to gray for a less intense effect. A darker gray will block out even more the brightness and contrast adjustments effect, making the flowers brighter. To enhance the colors, I'll add a selective color adjustment. First, I'll do yellow. Now red. I 
And I'll mute and darken the greens to finish off. Now I'll try a vignette. From the layer menu, I'll select New Fill Layer. I'll drag out the gradient. The gradient tool is automatically selected whenever you add a new fill layer. I'll change the gradient type to Radial and change the Blend Mode to Multiply. I'll zoom out so I have more room to work and adjust the gradient. And I'll reduce its opacity as a final adjustment. Now I'll apply a Gaussian Blur to soften the leaves in the background and create a soft glow around the flowers. I'll make it a child of the duplicated image layer to mute its effect somewhat. I'll check Preserve Alpha to preserve the borders of our image and turn up the radius. Now everything is blurry. That's the bluntness I mentioned earlier. I'll apply a mask to the Gaussian Blur to bring the stamens and pistols back into focus. I'll select a paintbrush and I'll use a dark gray color. I'll go with an even darker gray. I think for a finishing touch, I'll add a recolor adjustment. An amber color is nice. I'll increase lightness. I'll check out different blend modes. Multiplied looks good. I'll reduce opacity and see how that looks. Now I'll paint on the brightness and contrast adjustments mask to bring out the flowers a little more. I'll use a darker gray color. And that'll do it. Dreamy and contemplative, suggestive of a warm summer afternoon in a quiet garden. Again, not every image is the same, so not everything I did here may work for your image, but you should be able to use some of the same techniques to help realize your vision. Thank you for watching.